morning. This is our video documentary of Nicole and I going fishing. It'd be fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous. New New York word. Aren't we proud of her? Why? Why? Because she's grumpy in the morning when you wake up. I'm so grumpy. That's my beautiful girlfriend. I'm going fishing. I'm going fishing. Hey. <laughs> I know, it's folks. I don't know how I get along with her either. I'm going fishing. I'm going fishing. See, the nice thing about this, Nicole, is I can come out here, you know, and fish for three hours and just drive an hour home. It's not a big deal. Yeah, no, this is nothing. If you wanted to make that trip by stagecoach, you would uh, get halfway and have to spend the night at Henryville. And if you stayed at the Henryville house, you got to fish there two miles of stream. And uh, it was that way right up and through the late 1900s. Uh, you know, it was very famous for fishing. And in 1972 or three, they got together at Smith and Walensky in New York City had a big steak dinner and formed the Henry Mo Fly Fishers. And uh, two years later, they managed to buy the water from the Ziegler family. Uh, and uh, so the club owns two, two miles of water that used to be the Henry Mill House, which has now been torn down about 10 years ago. And uh, we rent or lease another additional two miles. So we have four miles of stream, and we have 15 members that come from 10 or 12 different states. I'm organizing them. Put them all into cold games as they'll fly the fishing and stuff. So putting all the pretty ones in. <laughs> Kelly, this is so small. I think you could do this for hours. <laughs> I'd be so content if I had to do this for hours and hours. <laughs> See these flies here? More than land on you. They're either black caddis or uh, stone flies. I think they're probably little black caddis, 16s or 18s. Little flies in the air. It's a rising. Means that they come up and they sip the bugs off the top of the surface. Just watch for a second, you'll see them come up. the epitome of our sport. I mean, that's what we, that's what we hardcore fly fishermen die for. Because <laughs> you get to see them move up and eat it. Can you me so jealous? Well, why don't we go up to the, uh, why don't we go up to the old clubhouse and we'll mess around with the pond. You're getting cold, kind of acclimated. Okay. Get her, maybe see if we can get her to get a fish on the line. Sounds good. Weather is not ideal for dry fly fishing. It's very bright, and I prefer to have some overcast, a little drizzly kind of. Uh, but this time of year, we normally get there. There will be black caddis, number uh, 16s and 18s. Uh, there will be some small black stone flies in the air. There will be some tan caddis. But around 11 o'clock, usually we start getting some blue quills, like number 18s. Either use a blue quill imitation or a parachute atoms, which uh, works just as effectively. And then hopefully, uh, right around lunch or after lunch, we normally get some quill gordons, uh, 14th or 16th. And that's a wonderful day fly. And uh, I've got plenty of imitations in case they come. So this, I've got my fingers crossed. So if we get cold to the pond and teach you how to cast and plant a uh, fish, you know, then we can head to the stream and hopefully. Check out the, uh, see if the blue quills are coming around 11 ish. Quill Gordon hatch 415. That's very unusual. That's usually like a 1 130 hatch. Again, it's dependent on 
temperature, water temperature. Left in the middle of hats, I'd have to kill him. <laughs> Luke, you guys signed in. So we'll putz around here and uh, see if we can get Nicole on a. Uh, Little brookie? A, a brookie in the pond. As soon as that, when that line straightens out, what happens is this is a very expensive piece of graphite. Right. And uh, it loads the rod up. Okay. okay. And that's what you really cast in, using that, that graphite to you know, really help it. You can use your wrist a little bit. I like to use, I bring it my oh, arm is up here. Okay, I don't just do this. Right. Just straighten that out and then bring it forward. You turn your body a little bit. Well, you know, we all have our own peculiarities. Right. Uh, you really shouldn't. Uh, I picked that habit up in Alaska because it's a lot of wind, and Looking when you're when you're fishing into a lot of wind, you do anything you can to get that line out there. You know, it really doesn't matter. You just want to get that out there to get the drift, like we were talking about, the way up. The thing is, it's not that long. Yeah, it's not that long. Well, I think it is just like. Look, my finger's huge. I know that's you're like this. You're like, here, look, come here. You're like this, trying to like to hold because you see how that grew. Turn your hand around some so your fingers are just touching. So all your fingers just the pads. Here. Put the one, put the one through. What do you mean? Don't go in front of it, don't reach all the way up. Keep it right at your finger and do small little strips. Like nope, other side. So you're always behind your finger. There. This? Yep. Put it down? Yep. And now cast. Let go with your other hand. Oop. You don't want to pop it. You want to pop it? No. Let's straighten out behind you. You got that? So pause this little second more when you're doing the back. A that longer? There. Yep. It's not as much of a whip. A little slower, like there. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Now you're getting it. I think we need to take it to the pod. Uh, so now you're gonna. So if you hear that pop, pop, pop. Did you ever hear like a snap, like a whip? Okay. When you're casting. That means you just broke off your fly. Okay. Because you just snapped the line and it breaks it. Did I break it? No, because you didn't have a fly on. Okay. You saying I would have? Yep. No whipping. No whipping. Whipping is not allowed okay. here in the bedroom. <laughs> This gonna be censored. Oh my god. Hit me. We're gonna try to do it without any fish food first, and we're gonna try and. Yeah. Like this? Like this? Oh. <laughs> Hey, that's Woo! better. You're getting it. That's a stonefly. If they're like a tent like this, that's a caddis. And if they're upright like a small sailboat, that's a mayfly. He was looking at a hardcore. Did he go up to it? Yeah, he looked, sniffed it. And he left? He looked at it. He like was nosing it. What, you're putting on a nymph? I'm going to put a little nymph dropper.